Welcome to Rockland News Daily. This is Rockland and here's today's top stories. A police officer brutalized a black family today. The officer has not been held accountable. The victim's family has asked for Al Sharpton to help to make the incident public. Fox News covered the story and focused on the fact that Al Sharpton was there instead of the story itself. In a related story, it has been brought to the attention of racist and white supremacists that Obama is black. In the past three weeks, three people have contracted Ebola and came to America. The two white people are now healthy as oxen and the black person is dead. There are a lot of reports coming out from armchair militants, internet revolutionists, and social media scholars that number one, our vote doesn't count, number two, Democrats and Republicans are the same, and number three, it won't change your life no matter who wins. Coincidentally, these are the same people who swore there would never be a black president in their lifetime. In a related story, the Supreme Court just ruled in a North Carolina case to basically suppress more votes by ending same-day registration and Sunday voting. Two options that was known to be used by black people. Why was those cases in front of the Supreme Court? Sources say informed publicans who enjoy power championed the bill and they felt that number one, voting does count, number two, Democrats and Republicans are different, and number three, it changes their life depending on who wins. Normal Humans came up with the hashtag, hashtag, vote asshole. Raven Simone is indeed an African American. Now to weather. As you can see, it's going to be hot, cold, or somewhere in the middle. Back to you, Rock. We received reports that a white criminal hopped the gate of the White House. Ran across the lawn, broke into the house, subdued a national security officer, and almost made it to the bedrooms of the first family. He was taken into custody. Around the same few months, a black guy was accused of taking a cigarette from a store and possibly jaywalking. He was approached by the police and put his hands up to surrender. He was shot and killed. Now here's some other guy with sports. White owners are trading black slaves, sorry, I mean black players, to put together a better team to make more money at the arenas. Owners will take 98% of the profits and have the rest of the organization divvy up to 2% of profits. We asked one of the players about this and here's what he said. We had to execute. We stuck to the game plan. They're a great team. We played our position. Execute. That's all in sports. Back to you, Rock. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, Real Housewives of some city that's below 85% poverty level. Back to you, Rock. Well, that wraps up the show for today. If I forget to make a news report tomorrow, just put this video on repeat. I'm sure the news will be the same, plus I'll get an extra hit. Thanks and have a good day, y'all. Peace.